ever want to know if you're being led on by somebody? You can't quite figure out if you're being led on by somebody and you need some help to figure out if you're being led on by that someone. Well, today I have 50 tips, not one, not two, not three, but 50 tips to help you find out if you're actually being led on by that someone. Okay, so let's get started here. Number one, if you have to keep asking, what are we? And you never get a straight answer. What are we? Are we friends? Are we lovers? Are you my boyfriend? Are you my girlfriend? What are we here? What are we doing? Number two, if every time you call them, their phone is cut off. Every time you call, you get no answer because the phone is off. Number three, if every time you make plans, they end up breaking them. Number four, if they never take you to their house. Number five, if you keep catching them in lies. Lies, lies, and more lies. Number six, if you've never been in public with them. Number seven, they only come around when it's bedtime. Time to go to bed. Number eight, they go missing for a week. A week, okay? They go missing in action for a whole entire week. A week. Number nine, they ask you for money and you don't see them again until the next month. Number 10, they always make excuses why they can't hang out with you. Number 11, every time they leave from around you, your money or your credit card is missing. I know I just had $100 in my purse. Where did it go? Where's my credit card? Where is it? Number 12, they need to borrow money Every time they see you. Can I borrow $50 today? Can I borrow $100 today? Oh yeah, I'm going to need $60 next week. Then the week after that, I'm going to need $500. Do you mind? Number 13. Nobody else knows you're a couple. You know you're a couple. They say you're a couple. But nobody else seems to know that you're a couple. Hmm. Nobody knows that you're a couple. Okay. Number 14. After they finish eating all your food, they leave. They just up and go. They come for the food. What are you cooking today? I'm going to eat and I'm out of here. Number 15. You don't have their phone number. Number 16. You find out their name, the name that they gave you is not their real name. Number 17. They borrow money from you every week and never pay you back. Borrow, okay? They borrow money, but they never seem to pay you back. I thought borrow meant you give it to them this time and they give it back to you. 
Number 18. They live 10 minutes away, but you see them once a month. Once a month. You see them only once a month. And they live 10 minutes away from you. They can walk to you if they want to, but you only see them once a month. Ooh, it's hot in here. That's not a tip. It's just hot in here. Woo. Okay. Number 19. They never call you. Number 20. They always put a frown on your face. Number 21. They sell your computer. You had this nice computer that you just bought. And wow, they just sell it. Number 22. They sell your phone. Number 23. They sell the furniture out your house. Number 24. They sell your TV. You got this nice flat screen TV in your house. Big TV. And you come home and it's gone. They sold it. It's it's just gone. They sold it. Okay. Number 25. They break in your house. Number 26. They never want to know how you're doing. Number 27. They're mean to your pets. Number 28. They won't... They won't care for you when you're sick. Number 29. They can't stand to see you smile. Number 30. They refuse. They refuse <laughs> to feed you. Number 31. They sell your clothes. Number 32. They sell your jewelry. All of your nice jewelry is just gone. Just like that. They sold it. They sold all your jewelry. Number 23. Sorry, that's number 33. They sell your shoes. Number 34. They never say happy birthday. Who does that? When it's your birthday, they never say happy birthday. You know they're leading you on. Number 35. They tell you that you... Oops. They tell you that they hate you every day. Number 36. They call you names. Number 37. They tear your stuffed animals apart. You have some nice little stuffed animals that you love so much and they just tear the stuff out of them. Number 38. They make you cry every day. Number 39. They sell your video games. Number 40. They sell your refrigerator. Not my refrigerator. No, where are you going with my refrigerator? I need that. Number 41. They sell your stove. <laughs> Number 42. They disappear after you fall asleep. Number 43. They get rid of your bunny rabbits. You have three pet bunny rabbits that you love and adore, and they just get rid of them. You don't need them. You know they're leading you on. Number 44, they sell the rugs off of your floor. Number 45, they sell your microwave. Number 46, they get rid of your dog. 
That's a no-no. Number 47. They sell everything out of your entire house. Number 48. They refuse to take you to the doctor when you get sick. Who does that? Number 49. They spread lies about you. And the last one is number 50. They force you to do bad things. So these are the 50 tips I have for you to let you decide whether that someone is leading you on. I hope that this has been helpful for you and I hope you get something out of this and I hope you will be able to decide from my 50 tips if that person is actually leading you on. Thank you so much angels. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment. See you next time. Bye.